So the thing about the great pumpkin from Charlie Brown is nobody actually knows what he looks like because every year Linus waits in the pumpkin patch and he never shows. So it's really left up to our imagination about what this character looked like. And one day I was putting away my minifigures and I came across a Jack Skellington and I was like, you know, this suit is very close to what I always pictured the great pumpkin wearing in the Charlie Brown specials. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do modifications and make my great pumpkin. And so the first thing I have to do is remove my pumpkin king's head, Jack Skellington's head, because I never pictured a skull because I always thought the great pumpkin was more um, kind because, you know, just like Santa Claus, he gives gifts, but on Halloween. And then this bat bow tie, although cool, again, doesn't fit the great pumpkin minifigure look. And now here's where I'm gonna show you two different ways. Now, originally I was gonna do a one by one translucent yellow brick because pretty much everybody has this at home. And um, so I just put that on my Jack Skellington's head, neck piece, put this jack-o'-lantern head on top, and you know, with the proper lighting, you can kind of see these yellow glowing eyes through the jack-o'-lantern. But for me, I have a glow-in-the-dark headpiece. This is my Spectre minifigure headpiece from series 14 Monsters. And you know, if you have any glow-in-the-dark headpieces, you can do this because we're not gonna use the face at all. We're gonna turn it around so only the blank backside is showing and put that on our minifigure like this. Once again, we're gonna get our jack-o'-lantern headpiece, put it on top. And now, I'm not sure how this is gonna work in the day, so I'm gonna have to like do a, an imposed image from like a night shoot that I do, but I'm just gonna kind of charge with my flashlight. And when I'm done, I've got this really cool glow in the dark, kind of like underneath the skull's head as if it's lit by a candle. And I just love this look with the suit, the little coattails. And this is really kind of what I thought the great pumpkin looked like whenever I watched the special or read the books as a kid. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.